you know, the exciting thing about the surgery that my colleagues and I developed, um, the GAT surgery, is we think this is probably the closest thing to being that surgery, that you can go do it and they don't need that kind of long-term follow-up because the, tra the traditional glaucoma surgeries are either making a big flap in the eye that put a patient at lifelong risk for infection and they need to be followed every week for several weeks, months for several months and, and regularly, or you could lose the eye and get a devastating infection. Or the other mainstream is a tube and that's a device that's expensive and it's, it's hard to, when you think on an individual patient level, that's fine. But when you think of a popula uh, on a population level, when you think of a public health perspective on how you treat glaucoma, if you have to put a device in every patient that has glaucoma that costs $500, that's not realistic. And there are, other, there are certain companies that are trying to make devices that are less expensive, but they're still associated with a lot of side effects. And uh, the exciting thing about this, this technology and the technique that we've developed is that we think we can do it in a very cost-effective, uh, inexpensive, safe way. To, to treat people with minimal follow-up and that doesn't put the patient at risk for a long-term long risk for infection is not uh, wrought with other complications like tube erosions and double vision and other things that we, we really don't like to see. And um, we think it actually has a really good chance of success and we've seen, we've seen that over the past three to four years. So this, in my mind, is, is one of the most exciting things and one of the most exciting technological developments in glaucoma for our patients here in the U.S., but more importantly uh, for overseas, because this is truly a, a surgery that I think we can go train other doctors to do, and um, and they can really make uh, a dent uh, in the impact and the burden that glaucoma has on, on the world.